All right. Good morning, everybody. Um, yes, we are in Zurich. It's a 6.30 in the morning. Uh, not very warm out. And <laughs> yeah, we are foiling, guys. We are foiling. I'm here for a little story. And um, I am so stoked. These guys are foiling against all odds, in my opinion, because I'm a warm water wuss, so to speak. And we have Reis over there. He's an absolute pro, jumping off of the docks here and carving it up pretty hard. We even have uh, Groms here from New Zealand. We have a little team Armstrong here. We're going to see these guys. What's your name? Joseph. And your name? And Kale. Joseph and Kale from Auckland, New Zealand. How cool is this? Finding themselves into the Surrey pump foil. And here, it's... Oh, and here is Seno, he's the godfather, the wake sea thief of Zurich. Seno, tell us a little bit, how did palm foiling end up here on the lake of Zurich and, and how did it become so popular? Well, it's becoming really popular because, um, I don't know, it's a spectacular sport and um, uh, it is, uh, it's a very physical sport, it's a lot of fun. Um, uh, it's a little bit difficult. You need about three to six hundred tries if you do the dock start, just to be able to do a couple of pumps. Um, then we also have a lot of technical people in Switzerland, like the ETH, who are into foil design and um, uh, stand-up paddle design. So it's a very good mixture of people and locations, water. It's a landlocked country, so the problem is we don't get any waves, but we also do not get to fight about any waves. So we just have to pump but you could always pump. And uh, as I say, the main season of pumping in Switzerland is the winter season, because then you don't have any boats on the lake, all the parks are open, you have super access to all the interesting spots where you can do the dock starts from. And yeah, so summer season is like the relaxing season. Winter season is the main pumping season for me. Love it, love it. Winter season and evidently when you don't patrol and hit his race. Look at this. I mean, this is some advanced. This is this is not easy stuff, man. Uh, he he he. Andreas Cole Surfco on Instagram. He is the first pump of Zurich that I know. And then I hooked up with Kalman and and uh, Joe, and they're also shapers. Huh? So his foil and his board he built himself with his oh, own cool. hands. How cool! This guy's good, man. Woohoo! Yeah. You're shaping your own foils, man. Yeah. Uh, let's, let's talk about this for a moment. And your board is how long? I think uh, four, four feet, no, 3.2. 3. Oh, cool. And, and, and how, how long have you, how, you look like you've been doing this for a while because you're definitely doing some advanced stuff here. Uh, since uh, 2019. Okay. <clears throat> but uh, I, I started, on a river with a rope uh, to get feeling for the okay. for the foil thing, and then I made the step to a to a dock. Okay. A little lower. First with the bungee rope. Okay. Still to get a longer glide. Yeah. Having the feeling and yeah, then it started with pumping. And you guys, what, like, let's say somebody wants to come here and says, like, this is so cool. I want to, I want to come learn this. We're talking three to 600 tries. I mean, um, how do you keep people not from getting absolutely frustrated after the first 30? So it's that's more a, like also a social uh, teamwork. Uh, everyone is, everyone is um, helping each other, having fun together. Um, you can learn from the others you give you uh, give uh, uh, tips yeah, you're constantly watching each other huh? yeah. and and of course now slowly you know we have so many people that we are starting to yeah. ask money for the lessons but okay in general basically you, you just go and you pump and you like one guy is more advanced the other is a beginner so you right. give tips to each other yeah and you help each other out and it's always it's just one lap it's like you know one tries two, three, four, five seconds, and then yeah. if you pump like he now, he, he's uh, he's getting he it. About 600 tries, and he's trying a new foil, right? So again, a new foil is a new um, a new yeah. challenge. 
So, so what are you telling to the beginner that says like, I want to learn this, what can I do? They just get your phone number and they come be caught, they come be caught, uh, part of the gang here? We have a WhatsApp group. Yeah. So we basically, the people who have WhatsApp, we add them to the group. Yeah. And then we see, you know, where they base. Greifensee, Zurich, uh, yeah. Thun, Basel. Yeah. And then, of course, we have the Wake Thief Challenge. Yeah. Uh, anybody who can pump longer than one minute, he gets a hat. A hat. Okay, so Devin, cool. Actually, his grandparents are from Switzerland. So Devin sends over the hats and I'm the official distributor for the hats. So anybody who can oh, you pump guys longer like, than okay. a minute, he gets a, gets a Wake Thief hat. Okay. So that's the connection with the US. Yeah. Very cool. Um, let me ask you one other thing, <clears throat> because I've been talking to Devon uh, so quite a while ago, and we discussed some sort of start block device that helps people not to um, have to jump on the board, but rather than some like we've seen those uh, self-made clamped thingies where you can, what about these? Do you guys have any of those? It says something like you, you can bring along or, or where are you standing with this? Do you guys do that? Uh, well, no, I, uh, I mean, it could be useful for beginners, right? But I think the real thing is just holding the board for the other, yeah, for the other people, and then or for the beginner, nice. and then just jump on and try, right? Of course, a dock or a ramp or whatever is fun, but it, it doesn't give you the skill of dock starting. Yes, Actually, no, it, it yeah, it does not. It, you, right? it makes it too simple. Okay. Right? Okay, so just get started and then can I borrow or rent this from somebody or do I have to go out and go spend the first 1500 bucks if I want to get in or is there an opportunity for me around here where I can at least try it a few times? Yeah, we are talking to the shop, so we are, we are visiting the shop today with you, right? So yeah, you are going to go check them out. It's in Kirchberg, the spin-out shop, then Gary Gearloose in, in Erlenbach, he will yeah. have boards as well. Um, uh, yeah, so we are you have to school the shops as well so the owners of the shops we have to give them like two hour lessons so they understand, to understand. how how to do a dog start. okay okay so here you have it guys this sport is completely in its infancy there has to be education people are asking where's the motor on this how do you guys make this go show me the battery so it is is like this is absolutely pioneer work what these guys are doing educating not just the general public but shop owners people who are in water sports need to be educated and told how does this work what did it go and the potential the potential is huge once once everybody's getting it we can have race courses we can have events we can have who can fly the longest we can have who's the fastest we can have heat i mean the the possibilities are endless yeah for sure yeah and and especially it's, it's good exercise Right? Yeah. And there's no limits to when you do it. I mean, you can do it at six o'clock in the morning. You can do it when it snows. You can do it when it rains. Yeah. You can do it when there are waves. <laughs> there, it, there, you there can no do it in the pool. Right? You can do it in the pond. You can, yeah. uh, you can, uh, uh, that's what I love about it. It is so accessible, yet so difficult. Yeah. That's kind of cool. It's like a double edged it sword. It's easier with every pump. <laughs> yes. Well, What's cool. difficult is, is building boards yourself. That's difficult. Thank you guys. And we even have the foil grom here from New Zealand. Very cool. By, by the way, he built this board himself, huh? No way. Wow. How cool is that? Yeah, because I was looking, I was like, I don't think Armstrong has this little board. I've never seen one of those. You build a little miniature replica. How cool is this? And you're pumping, uh, what's your setup there? So the 85 centimeter mast. Okay. Oh, okay. The 60 fuse. Okay. The 195 tail and the 1325. All right. What about, yeah, that actually brings up a good topic. What about ma mast length? What kind of man uh, length are you guys all pumping here? That's an 85. What, what is this one? That looks a little shorter. 75. 75. And mine is 85 as well. Does it matter for like flat water pumping? Do you like prefer a, a longer mast? Well, it's easier to pump for the short mast, but then because the stock is quite high, it's easier to start. Okay, with makes sense. So you kind of have a mast depending on the dock height. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Wow. Okay. So here you have it. We can go on and on and on, and it's exactly what we're doing. But for now, um, I'm going to say goodbye. Awesome video here, and we'll see you guys in the next one.